Okay, uh, let us continue. Okay, uh, so you all you need to do is to uh, use the assumption that I have given to you in our in our in uh, our previous video. So here, cash is one, uh, originally is one hundred thirty, so it increased by thirty percent. So cash is one hundred thirty. Increase by thirty percent, it will become one hundred sixty-nine. Okay, so I um, will show you. That's how we get one hundred sixty-nine in the asset scheme. Uh, for marketable securities, okay, here uh, the asset scheme uh, give a, a slightly different assumption from what I have given to you. I mentioned just now that uh, marketable securities is a discretionary item and therefore does not change with a change in uh, with a change in uh, sales. But here, uh, the answer scheme shows that uh, even marketable securities also marketable securities also increase with the increase in sales. So here we have uh, originally marketable securities is 500, so uh, it increased to. Okay, uh, let me write it down. So here we have uh, legacy corporation balance sheet as at thirty first December twenty eighteen. Okay, uh, so we have here we have assets. And then we have uh, liabilities plus equity. Okay, uh, let's take a look one by one. Okay, cash increase from 130 to 169. How do we get this from 130 to 169? An increase by 30%. So, 130 multiplied by 1.3, you get 169. Uh, similarly, for marketable securities, marketable securities, it increased from 500 to 650, increased by uh, 30 percent. Like uh, just what I said just now. Uh, usually, marketable securities we uh, we consider it as a uh, as a discretionary item discretionary item means it does not change with an increase in sales but here this assume that marketable securities is uh, also increased so uh, we have to really uh, um, we have to really make one um, a decision whether uh, marketable securities will increase or not with the increase in sales later on uh, in class okay and then account receivable Account receivable, similarly, account receivable will also increase uh, from 950 to 1235. 1235, also an increase of uh, 30%. And then, uh, what about uh, inventories? Yeah, inventories will also increase. Inventories increase from uh, from 400 to 520 okay so these are the items that will uh, increase with increase in sales okay now um, the question states that uh, in 2018 the firm is operating at full capacity it means that uh, when the operating and uh, when the firm is operating at full capacity it means that uh, even the fixed asset will also increase with an increase in sales. So, originally the fixed assets, we, we take a, a, a net asset. Eh? Uh, so, the net assets is 3520, it increased to 4576. Net fixed asset or net property, net property and equipment. Net property and equipment increase from uh, from 
3520 3520 multiplied by 1.3 get 4576 an increase of 4576 here an increase of 30% and then you add up the total it becomes 71550 71550 so that's of the asset side of the balance sheet uh, what about the liabilities and equity side of the balance sheet Okay, uh, what about accounts payable? Accounts payable also increase. Accounts payable increase from 510 to 663. From 510 to 663, 510 increased by 1.3 or 30%, so it becomes uh, to 663. And then we have a not payable. Okay, here, not payable. Not payable remain at original level of 270 because as I mentioned earlier, uh, not payable is a, a discretionary item. So <coughs> for discretionary item, uh, it does not uh, change with increase in sales. So net, not payable remain uh, 270 uh, into uh, uh, 270 million. I mean, sorry, 270 thousand. Uh, what about accruals? Accruals will also increase. Accruals will increase uh, to uh, 195. From accruals will increase from 150. It increased to 195. And uh, uh, other current liabilities also increase. Other current liabilities will also increase to. Uh, six hundred uh, to uh, eight hundred forty-five. Sorry, increase to eight hundred forty-five. Eight hundred forty-five from originally um, at six fifty. Okay, and uh, long-term debt is a uh, is another discretionary item. So long-term debt will remain unchanged. Uh, long-term debt. Uh, remain at uh, at original level of 2000 because uh, this is a discretionary item and another discretionary item is uh, common stock common stock is uh, remain at common stock remain at 320 and written earnings uh, written earnings we have shown you I have shown you how the uh, figures of return earnings uh, change uh, due to uh, uh, due to the company making profit and uh, a portion of the profit is paid in the form of dividend and the rest will be carried forward as a form of uh, return earnings. So return earnings uh, has increased from 1,600 to 265. Three. Okay. Now, uh, before we uh, can calculate the additional financing needed, additional financing needed, um, we have to calculate, or uh, we have to uh, calculate what is the sum of all these figures. So, if you calculate the sum of all these figures. 663, 663 plus uh, 270, 270 plus 195 plus 8,45 plus 2,000 plus 320 plus 2,653. You have uh, 6,946. Yeah? You have 6,946. Uh, in order for us to balance this balance sheet, we have a shortage of so minus seven one five zero. So we have a shortage of two zero four. So uh, we have a shortage of two zero four. So this two zero four is needed to get the balance sheet uh, balanced. Yeah. So uh, that's how you uh, get all these figures um, in the pro forma balance sheet. Okay. Um, one question 
uh, that you will probably will be asking is it possible that uh, instead of uh, you have shortage here on the right side of the balance sheet uh, we have is it possible for us to have surplus okay. I mean the right side of the balance sheet amount is greater than the uh, the asset size um, in reality uh, this will not be happen this will not happen because once you increase sales there will be additional uh, financing needed uh, if you want to uh, create more sales you need to produce uh, more products and if you want to produce more products you need to buy raw materials more raw materials and in order for you to do so you need uh, usually you need uh, more financing okay uh, that's it for now until uh, we meet again assalamualaikum bye bye